What is C-sharp? C-sharp, pronounced C-sharp, is a modern, object-oriented programming language created by Microsoft that is designed to run on the .NET framework. It is widely used for building Windows desktop applications, web applications, and games. What is .NET Framework? .NET Framework is a software framework developed by Microsoft that provides a programming model, a runtime environment, and a set of libraries for building Windows applications. It supports several programming languages, including c -sharp. What is the difference between an abstract class and an interface in c -sharp? An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated and may contain abstract methods, which are methods without an implementation. An interface, on the other hand, is a collection of abstract methods and properties that define a contract that a class must implement. A class can implement multiple interfaces, but can inherit from only one class. What is a lambda expression in c -sharp? A lambda expression in C-sharp is a shorthand way of writing an anonymous function, which is a function that has no name and can be defined in line. Lambda expressions are commonly used for writing li and q queries and for passing functions as arguments to other methods. What is the difference between a value type and a reference type in C-sharp? In c -sharp, a value type is a type that is stored directly on the stack, while a reference type is a type that is stored on the heap and accessed through a reference. Value types include simple types like int and double, as well as struct types, while reference types include classes, arrays, and strings. What is the difference between a static class and a non-static class in c -sharp? A static class in c -sharp is a class that cannot be instantiated and can only contain static members, while a non-static class can be instantiated and can contain both static and non-static members. Static classes are commonly used for utility classes and extension methods. What is LINQ in c -sharp? LINQ, Language Integrated Query, is a set of language extensions to c -sharp that provide a consistent way to query data from different data sources, such as arrays, lists, and databases. LINQ queries are written using a syntax similar to SQL and are executed at runtime by the .NET framework. What is a thread in c -sharp? A thread in c -sharp is a unit of execution within a process that can run concurrently with other threads. Threads are commonly used for parallelizing CPU-bound work and for performing asynchronous I.O. operations. In c -sharp, threads can be created using the thread class or the thread pool class. What is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous programming in c -sharp? In synchronous programming, the program waits for a task to complete before moving on to the next task. In asynchronous programming, the program can continue to execute other tasks while waiting for a task to complete. Asynchronous programming is commonly used for IO-bound tasks, such as reading from a database or calling a web service, because it allows the program to make more efficient use of resources. What is garbage collection in c -sharp? Garbage collection in c -sharp is a process that automatically frees memory that is no longer being used by the program. It allows you to write programs without worrying about manually allocating and freeing memory. The .NET framework includes a garbage collector that runs periodically to reclaim memory that is no longer in use. What is the difference between an event and a delegate in c -sharp? An event in c -sharp is a mechanism for notifying subscribers that an action has occurred, while a delegate is a type that represents a reference to a method with a specific signature. Events are commonly used for implementing the observer pattern, while delegates are commonly used for implementing callback functions and event handlers. What is the difference between a sealed class and a static class in c -sharp? A sealed class in c -sharp is a class that cannot be inherited, while a static class is a class that cannot be instantiated and can only contain static members. 
Sealed classes are commonly used for preventing inheritance and for optimization, while static classes are commonly used for utility classes and extension methods. What is the difference between a struct and a class in c -sharp? A struct in c -sharp is a value type that is typically smaller and faster than a class, while a class is a reference type that can have more complex behavior. Structs are commonly used for simple data types, such as numbers and coordinates, while classes are commonly used for more complex objects, such as user interfaces and network protocols. What is the difference between a constructor and a destructor in c -sharp? A constructor in c -sharp is a method that is called when an object is created, while a destructor is a method that is called when an object is destroyed or garbage collected. Constructors are commonly used for initializing an object, backslash, estate, while destructors are rarely used in c -sharp because the garbage collector automatically frees memory when an object is no longer being used. What is an interface in c -sharp? An interface in c -sharp is a contract that specifies a set of methods, properties, and events that a class must implement. Interfaces are commonly used for defining common functionality that can be implemented by different classes and for implementing polymorphism. What is a delegate in c -sharp? A delegate in c -sharp is a type that represents a reference to a method with a specific signature. Delegates are commonly used for implementing callback functions and event handlers and for implementing functional programming concepts such as higher-order functions and lambda expressions. What is a property in c -sharp? A property in c -sharp is a class member that encapsulates a private field and provides a way to read or write its value. Properties can have a get accessor for reading the value and a set accessor for writing the value and can also have custom logic for validating and transforming the value. Properties are commonly used for implementing encapsulation and for defining a class as public interface. What is an attribute in c -sharp? An attribute in c -sharp is a type that provides metadata about an assembly, a type, or a member. Attributes can be used to control how the runtime treats the annotated code, such as how it is serialized, validated, or executed. Attributes can also be used to add custom information to the code, such as authorship or licensing information. Attributes are commonly used for implementing cross-cutting concerns, such as logging, validation, and security. What is serialization in c -sharp? Serialization in c -sharp is the process of converting an object into a format that can be stored or transmitted across a network or between different applications. Serialization allows you to save and restore the state of an object and to transfer it between different platforms and languages. c -sharp provides several built-in serialization mechanisms, including XML serialization, binary serialization, and JSON serialization. What is reflection in c -sharp? Reflection in c -sharp is the ability of a program to examine its own code at runtime and to manipulate its own metadata. Reflection allows you to inspect and manipulate types, methods, properties, and other elements of a program and to create new instances of types and invoke their methods dynamically. Reflection is commonly used for implementing advanced features such as dependency injection, dynamic code generation, and serialization. What is an extension method in C-sharp? An extension method in C-sharp is a static method that appears to be a member of an existing type and can be called as if it were a regular instance method of that type. Extension methods allow you to add new functionality to existing types without modifying their source code or inheriting from them, and can be used to create fluent APIs and simplify code reuse. What is covariance and contravariance in c -sharp? Covariance and contravariance in c -sharp are type compatibility rules that allow you to assign a more derived, covariant, or less derived, contravariant, generic type argument to a generic type parameter that is used in a delegate, a method, a class, or an interface. 
Covariance and contravariance allow you to write more flexible and expressive code when working with generic types and are supported in C Sharp 4.0 and later versions. What is the difference between a private and a protected member in C Sharp? A private member in C Sharp is a member that can be accessed only within the same class, while a protected member is a member that can be accessed within the same class or within a derived class. Private members are commonly used for implementing encapsulation and for hiding implementation details, while protected members are commonly used for implementing inheritance and for providing a base class S public interface. What is the difference between a delegate and an event in C Sharp? A delegate in C Sharp is a type that represents a method signature and can be used to encapsulate a method call and to pass methods as arguments to other methods. An event in C Sharp is a mechanism that allows an object to notify other objects when something happens and can be implemented as a combination of a delegate field and add and remove accessor methods. The difference between a delegate and an event is that a delegate is a type that represents a method signature, while an event is a higher level concept that uses a delegate to implement a specific behavior. What is the difference between a thread and a task in C Sharp? A thread in C Sharp is a unit of execution that runs independently and concurrently with other threads within the same process and is controlled by the operating system scheduler. A task in C Sharp is a higher level abstraction that represents an asynchronous operation that can be scheduled and executed by a task scheduler and can be used to perform parallel, concurrent, and asynchronous operations. The difference between a thread and a task is that a thread is a low-level construct that is managed by the operating system, while a task is a high-level construct that is managed by the task parallel library, TPL, and provides a more abstract and convenient way to perform asynchronous operations.